I think everything is on the table when you're talking about this Hunter Biden situation. I mean, it's a bizarre case. It was an extensive piece by the New York Times on the collapse of Hunter Biden's plea deal. Yeah, you know, and it all started with the fact that there wasn't supposed to be a plea deal at all. There wasn't going to be any charges filed. The now special counsel Weiss said that he was prepared to go to the Department of Justice with an exoneration. So this wasn't even part of a plea deal at this point. They were saying no charges. And the only reason there was even a plea deal of any sort was because of the whistleblowers. Now, we've talked a lot about whistleblowers over the last couple of weeks on the broadcast because we're working closely with empowerment oversight on whistleblower issues. But the irony of this is that the Department of Justice then appoints Weiss, the same lawyer that was going to bring no charges as the special counsel. If the whistleblowers did not come forward, there were going to be no charges, period. The whistleblowers got a plea deal put in place. The judges rejected that. Now it's back to the drawing board. I'm still not convinced, by the way, much happens because I don't know what David Weiss is going to do. Probably nothing. The plea deal was what the the prosecutors thought would get these whistleblowers off their back. Mm -hmm. At least we'll bring some kind of charges against him. He has to plead guilty. He's not going to get any real fines, not going to spend any time in jail, but we'll at least slap him on the wrist and maybe these whistleblowers will shut up. And they didn't. There is a two-tier system of justice. And you look at four indictments going against the former president of the United States and the kid glove treatment that's going on here, the irony is unreal. And I will tell you, it shows how deep this hatred is of what's going on politically. Without the courageous actions of these whistleblowers, let me tell you something, these whistleblowers are making a game change as it relates to the IRS, it relates to the Department of Justice, as it relates to the targeting of pro-life groups, as it relates to the targeting of parents. These whistleblowers are saving the day. And now it's our honor at the ACLJ to be standing beside them and representing them legally because they are literally reshaping everything that's going on right now. And to that, we're very, very grateful uh, to be able to do that. If you're listening to us, you have to be able to support the ACLJ. We're, we're doing incredible work. We're helping whistleblowers feel confident to come forward. We're fighting in the court of public opinion. We're fighting in the courts. Um, this is the type of organization that's actually not just talking but doing, and I hope people will support it. Join the ACLJ in the fight to keep America free.